I'm going out back, out back to Australia. I'm going out back, out back to Australia. See you there. G'day everyone, Roy at Sunland Caravans. Another gorgeous day in paradise and another very exciting time for Marion and Robert who are busting their boiler to get their new Sunland Caravan. So I just want to point out guys too, by the way, it is Marion and Robert, it's not numbers 125 and 127 picking up the caravan. Just want to point out we do actually treat you as like a person and not like a number. Should, that shouldn't have to be said, but anyway, come on round. So let's have a look at this gorgeous caravan. So double jockey wheel brace with a jockey wheel here and the famous black jack, trailer jack uh, electric leg here. Has got a camera, has got the ESC, has got the ratchet handbrake, DO35 of course, and the wiring set up for a 12 pin plug and an Anderson lead. So that's their requirements for their car. They've added the big toolbox. Look, this is gorgeous, this, and this powder coating has really, really made this look fantastic, and it really works well. So, tunnel boot. We have got an additional 240 volt power source at the front here. Getting more and more people asking for this. Actually, it's not a bad idea. I'm not opposed to that at all. We've got the white and um, yellow lights at the top. Now, has got a table at the front, entertainment there, the dust covers that come standard on this vent, that's the dust cover that goes on this door. Just a reminder that um, you really shouldn't run your um, any gas appliances while that's on. So when the, the van is stationary, remove that. We'll come back to the electric leg in a minute. Magnificent black wheels. This is sort of like a black edition happening here with the XT independent coil suspension underneath there. Did I say hello to Brendan? Hi Brendan. Listen, coming back, gas point here, instant gas hot water. You've seen most of this before on the videos, but hey, I'm always excited to show this stuff again because it's different to what you find anywhere else. The Girard instant hot water service and the um, red water valve. Now, we put here and explain how the red water valve works on it. Basically, when you're on tank water, that means you're going to use your pump. So you turn your pump on. This is the general purpose tank. Uh, tank, by the way, it doesn't apply to the drinking water one. You have to have that in that straight line and that in that line there now. When you go to um, mains pressure, you need to actually turn those off. So that then goes that way, that way, then goes that way. And we give you the diagram to let you know. It's actually simple enough to change those around. The reason we do that is we don't want the, the mains pressure water going through when we're on that because it'll bypass it and end up overfilling your tanks. Another story for another day. We love this. We've also got on the back here a 225 amp lithium battery and a 2000 watt inverter. And again, the wiring diagram. Now, by the way, we had someone come in the other day that's modified the wiring on the caravan and actually asked us to redo this for them and we can do that. So if you need to, to make modification or have modification, probably not a bad idea to update, whether it be us or whomever, update your wiring diagram so the next person that comes along doesn't go, oh, that's supposed to be like this, but someone's changed it. Just, just a thought, guys. We have got the camera at the top there. Also probably want to make a mention of this because I don't mention this very often, but that um, Aboriginal artwork was done by a local Aboriginal by the name of Jimmy Dean, and it is properly licensed. It is signed by Jimmy. It is a legitimate work of art, and we hold the rights to that artwork here. I really like seeing that on my caravans. So we've got the traditional one with the Australian flag, but we've also got the Aboriginal one there. I like the colors. I think it looks good. Come on around. Toilet cassette here. This has been done with a fridge, so the covers have been made for this fridge vent here. So when you're in really dusty areas, you can use those. This one has got a gas heater. The gas heater is under the seat. So we've got mains filler, your mains general purpose water, your gas heater vent here, and then of course, 
down the front here, your separate location for your fresh drinking water. I, I, I don't know if we mentioned enough about the way this works, but really only use this if you've got some really high quality water that you want to drink. And then we still filter it anyway, but yeah, try and remember to keep this one pretty full because it's probably the most important water you'll have is to have good clean water when you're away and certainly good clean drinking water. So let's move around the caravan and we'll take a hop inside and see what's happened inside. Reminder the RV map badge at the top there. The Aussie traveller door with a midgy screen. Now I've got a couple of exciting things happening inside here. First off, oh, let's get inside here, I'm getting old. <laughs> here we've got the queen size bed. Heater controls on this side. So we know who the, where the boss sleeps. The boss sleeps that side of the van. Nice big inner spring mattress with this pillow top. You know, most of the time you, well, you're seeing that with a cover on, so you're not re really seeing just how nice these mattresses are. But that is a beautiful, soft, soft and firm style mattress. One rolls, it doesn't affect the other person. That's got to be a good thing. They've gone for some really nice colours. Again, they've gone for this black edging around here, which is really, really nice. They've gone for straight out storage inside the robes. Black Sirocco fan here, black Sirocco fan there. So they've gone this, again, this black and white. I, I think contrasting always works really, really well. So they've got this black and white theme happening. A couple of fans, it's gonna keep them nice and cool. We've got the four season hatch at the top, Ibis air conditioner, and of course the fantastic hatch. Finishing that whole ceiling off nicely. Now being a composite van, you've got this beautiful fiberglass finish. So this roof can never rot. You know, if water gets in somehow, I can't even see how that would be possible, but if it did, it can't rot. That roof's gonna be looking like that. That ceiling, rather, is gonna look like that forever. Really easy to keep clean. Nice feature. Look, let's go back to this cafe dinette. Because this is one of the, the new changes that we've made, is to have all our power on this panel at the back here. And we've modified the trifold table, so it still works with it beautifully. You've still got, you know, this sort of, little arm resty type piece somewhere to plop the, the, the tinny or whatever. But now you've got all your power concerns right there. So 240 volt uh, USB, 12 volt socket. You can test the, uh, the uh, charge rate of your current uh, LBS battery. You can check your water level in both tanks. And here you've got the uh, inverter charger controller as well. So you can see at the moment, if I just press that, it illuminates. Batteries are currently at 93%. These guys are picking this up on Monday and I know they're super excited to do so, let me tell you. This galley has got some really nice effects. So by putting this gray and they've gone for this big black sink here and of course your oven's black and you've got the gray here and the silver handles, they've gone for a really light laminate and then they've gone for a matte splashback this has actually inspired us a little bit for future changes so i'm going to redo the power the way the power sits on this wall for future models so it actually has inspired us to make some changes i really like the way that's gone i like the way that power point's been put in that corner on that angle right it keeps it well away from the gas so it's the, the legalities of the distance and so forth, but it's making it a lot easier to use. So again, I think that's a, an absolute cracker of a, uh, a galley, very functional. It's got this matte look, which just, it pops. Let's have a look inside the uh, ensuite. So as you can see, we've all got all this black sink and black tapware, and they've taken that in here as well. So in here, they've got this light gray and then they put the dark edging around that and done the same up the top there. So that actually, it's given it another zone um, area, if you like. If you look inside the shower, <laughs> here we go, nice black fittings. Again, got my seat, the 
exclusive drain, the non-slip surface here, and my all favorite shower screen. So someone asked the other day for a bit more of an explanation on these shower screens, and I'm really happy to do so. So the shower screen itself works on a cassette base, and it just clips, there's a little clip arrangement here, so it just clips over, so it's a very simple mechanism. This material is a form of plastic, Actually, I can get a little bit of static happening off that right now. It's quite strong, but has a lot of flexibility in it. It needs that flex to be able to roll up, obviously. It's not something that you would want to go falling into. No more than you'd want to fall into glass, I guess. But it's opaque, so you can see a figure inside. So it's letting some air go through there, or some light rather, go through there. So when you're in there, it's not claustrophobic. But when you close this up, it cassettes into here and it actually has a little squeegee that removes the water so that you're not dripping water on the outside. So the door itself is actually larger than the hole. So when it's fully closed up like this, really that door is bigger than the opening. Water really simply can't get out. So a traditional door sits inside that frame, leaving gaps around it has to that's the way the mechanism works it's a lot easier to get water to come through or a lot harder to keep the water inside with that type of door the other advantage of this door is it can be whatever size we want just like these concertina doors, big wide doors um, but you, we're not having to worry about opening so you don't open up onto something and you can leave the door open all the time you don't constantly close the door which means also if you happen to not lock an opening a, a traditional style door that it's not going flat flat flap as you're driving along doing damage so there's so many reasons why this screen door is better than a traditional shower screen door i, I hope that's explained enough for for the gentleman that asked me to explain more recently let's move on okay so we've got washing machine underneath here in this one here it's a 2.6 sphere top load i prefer the top load over the front loads for a whole heap of reasons but these really are made for caravan use the only real top loads that will work properly in my opinion are the wall mounted ones and they're quite small in their capacity but they work well so moving on again continue the theme with some nice black tap wear this beautiful fiberglass sink the fiberglass sink's been made in such a way that the drain is at the back, giving us a little bit more space underneath there. The big illuminated mirror works really well. We're using high quality catches everywhere. A reminder on the RCD safety is on that door. Again, this actually states that it should be tested every six months. That is the regulation. But in typical government regulations, um, I don't want to get too political with this so I, I won't give my opinion but I can tell you now when you're on 240 volt power every time you connect it press it and test your RCD to make sure it's working don't do the six months thing test it every time you use it same with your inverter look it only takes that's all you gotta do is push a button that will flip down to tell you that it's working you know then that your caravan's safe safe from 240 volt power whether it be mains or inverter if you've got the mains on and that doesn't flip down you've got a faulty rcd you need to do something about it somewhere quickly because it means that you're not safe the other thing of course is if you do short out something inside the caravan that safety switch goes straight away and it stops you from getting electrocuted that's why it's important to make sure that that is working properly okay enough heavy duty stuff from me the rest of it is to hate. Again, thank you guys for watching these videos. I do hope you're enjoying it. Again, I'm going to remind you to like, subscribe, hit the alarm button. Those things really help us make sure we get these videos out to as many people as we possibly can. If you have got something that you want covered on these videos, please let us know. I try and cover specific points every time. My, my main reason for showing you this is this is what someone's chosen. They've made the really smart choice and gone for a Sunland thumbs up for that one a really smart choice to listen to what we explain and how we explain how to lay them out their own choice of colors certain things that they've really wanted to have for themselves and that is important so you know please if you haven't looked at us go check out our website uh, sunlandcaravans.com.au check out um, the other stuff that we do too which is the YouTube channel 
Um, go on that website and have a look at the different models. If you do want to come in and talk to us, make an appointment on the website. It's the best way to possibly do it. Or if all that's too hard and you simply want to make a phone call, 0754 99 or 0410 574 127. That is my personal mobile number. I had again someone ring me the other day and super surprised that I answered my phone. Well, here's a, here's a tip. I answer my phone. So if you do want to talk to me directly, please feel free to use that number. In the meantime, look, stay safe and uh, I'll see you for the next one. Cheers. Yeah.